Hey guys, uh, and hello, and welcome to my supplementary content for my course of 3D printing. So, what are we going to be investigating today? Well, today we're going to be starting to work with the Tinkercad software. Now, what is Tinker t Tinkercad? Tinkercad is simply a 3D modeling software that's provided by Autodesk. Autodesk is a company that specializes in making many other types of products other than 3D modeling software. For example, they also offer software that provides sort of the middleman connection between your computer and the 3D printer. However, we're not going to be dealing with that in our class for this pr for these purposes. We're only going to be dealing with Tinkercad. So right now, uh, let's just go ahead and go to tinkercad.com so in order to do this you can go to google you can go to any search engine that you most prefer right it doesn't really matter so let's go on ahead and just type in tinkercad right okay go ahead and press enter so we want the first one tinkercad creates 3d digital designs with online cat let's go ahead and click Okay, so what is Tinkercad? Now, T Tinkercad is a simple online 3D design and 3D printing app for everyone. Now, as you can see here, since this is an online app, an online browser run app, you do not need to have really any software requirements or any minimum system requirements. This is because, well, as long as, long as you have a modern browser, like say right now I'm using Chrome, so you can use Chrome, you can use Opera, you can use Microsoft Edge. Just make sure that your system and your browser has all the necessary updates. Now, right now, I'm running on a Windows computer, a Windows computer with about 4 gigabytes of RAM and about a 2 gigahertz processor. You'll want, I'd say, at least around 1 gigahertz and at least 2 gigabytes of RAM if you want to run all browser applications smoothly. Now, this goes along with anything. And I'm pretty sure that you will have a laptop that ha meets the these requirements as uh, technology is pretty ubiquitous nowadays. So let's go on ahead and sign up. Now if you, right over here. So now if you want to explore these, like Tinkercad features, gallery, community, learn and teach, um, you can go ahead and do that in your spare time. We're not gonna be dealing with that right now. So let's go on ahead and click sign up. Okay, let's go on ahead and create an account. So we're obviously living in the United States, right? Um, so let's go on ahead and click our birthday. Click next. Okay, now let's go ahead and do our email. So um, the email I'm gonna put down Please do not, like, email me with this email, but rather use my other email, which I will show you in a second. Um, yeah. Let's go on ahead. Click I agree. Create account. Okay, so as I said before, um, do you want, uh, I want you to, I want you guys to know how to contact me, right, in case you have any other questions, so let's just go on ahead and do that. I'm going to go on ahead and go to Google. Okay, so this is an email that you'll want to email me at. This is an email that I respond to most often. Uh, 3d printing dot work dot edu at gmail dot com uh, I'm gonna leave this up here for approximately five seconds for you guys to copy it down I will definitely go over this in my lessons uh, while I am in person so yeah okay let's go on back okay so 
That's good, our account was created, right? The single account gives you access to all your Autodesk products. As I said before, there's many other Autodesk products uh, other than Tinkercad. Let's go on ahead and click Done. Okay, so what we're going to be seeing here in a moment is what I call Tinkercad's basic modules, or what you will only see and step through when you first open up Tinkercad. Okay, learning the moves. This is Tinkercad module learning number one. If you guys want to take notes, that would be most helpful. Um, yeah. All right, let's learn to move shapes along the work plane. Position the shape on the target. Now the target is typified by this orange, excuse me, this orange, this orange grid section over here. So just drag the light brown construction to the area outlined in orange. Let's go on ahead and do this. So in order to drag, you just uh, left mouse holds and move your mouse over until it's approximately in the right position. Okay, release your left mouse. Go ahead, and yeah, we did it. Good job, guys. So next we're going to be going into moving around your view on the workplace.